Let's start with the UFC. What, what the hell happened with Conor McGregor, best you can tell? Think, and what is going to happen I, I with him? I think that a guy like that, he did it, right? He, he took the belt in two different weight classes. But you get when you get that rich, mm -hmm. it's very hard, I think, to then decide that you're going to train on the level that you did train. And you got to remember, these guys are not just training that way. They're sucking weight. They're, taking, they're dealing with injuries all the time. And then you get in with a monster like Khabib. You have to be so hungry. There's so many people coming after you. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to motivate when you have $100 million. Maybe after he's been fighting, what, since he was 17? And you, you made it. You did it. You're at the top of the mountain. And when you like that view, it's very hard to come back down and just grind like that. To his credit, to that guy's credit, he fights anybody. I couldn't believe he was going to fight Khabib. I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, come up with any excuse, please. That guy is a nightmare. If he touches you, that's it. They, they, he, that, that his level of wrestling is so crazy. The minute he closes the gap and grabs you, you're not going anywhere. You, I have a track record of that. Those Dagestanis, they grow up wrestling at the age of three. In Azerbaijan, that whole area. And not wrestling humans either. No, sir. They wrestle? Wrestle, they'll, they'll wrestle bears, okay? <laughs> and they fight. They fight. I mean, it's just, it's in, it's it, part of their, the geography of where they're from. They were dealing with the Turks, with the Russians, with everybody else. They had to fight their whole life. And you, you, I was like, you can't, please don't fight. You're not a wrestler on that level. You can't solve that problem. There's no way to solve that problem. Well, I just wonder where to go from here. Now, you know, obviously, what is it? The strong arm felony? Is that what it was called down yeah. in uh, Miami? Yeah, strong arm robbery. The, strong That's arm just, robbery. Yeah. It's a felony yeah. and he, the, the, with the cell phone that apparently was held by a Khabib fan. Everyone's wondering what the hell's going on with that's that. Just, that's just hype. So, but what what is next for him? I mean, like, shouldn't he just go into a Guy Ritchie movie and just yes. end it right now? I think and just he should stop? get into movies. I'm serious. I agree with you. Do your whiskey, get into movies. Right. And uh, he's done it. He did it. He's proved everything to me. So he doesn't have to, you know, I, again, I think that he has accomplished what every fighter dreams of. What's difficult for these guys is... When you've been identified as a fighter, when you love that competition, mm -hmm. when you're an extreme winner like he is, it's very difficult to then transition and now go be a movie star, or go do acting, which means wear makeup and make believe and wait around a lot. That's that's not what it's cracked up to that's be. True. If people saw how <laughs> movies were made, if, if, nobody would be interested in hanging out or learning about actors. Right. I'm telling you right now, you 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 shoot a page a day. Enjoy that. Right. I don't care what I've done. All these movies. I've done big movies. I was just on the Joker. I mean, you know, whatever it might be. You're sitting yeah. around. You're you're sitting around for your shot to come up. And then if you're not in the shot, you will be in the background, sir, all day long, mm -hmm. fake faking whatever it is you're doing, playing cards and action. <laughs> right. That'll, that's your day for twelve hours. Please enjoy. Right. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.